I genuinely believe that anyone can monetize a YouTube channel in three months or less. And in this video, I'm going to prove it. And when I say anyone, I mean literally anyone. Well, almost anyone. This is my dog Lily, by the way. And in this video, we are going to start a new YouTube channel for her and see what happens. First things first, let's create a new Google account and let's start the channel. Okay, Lily, I know you're super talented. So what would you like your channel to be about? Oh, of course, dogs. So I guess we're making a channel about dogs. Sure, let's do that. So I'm gonna go to Mid Journey and create the banner and the profile picture for our channel. Okay, Lily, now that your channel is ready, let's get started with your first video. What should it be about? Oh, you don't know. I thought you knew a lot about dogs. Okay, no worries, I've got you covered because even if you feel like you're running out of inspiration or you feel like you don't really know what you want your videos to be about, then no worries because I know a source that you can leverage as well and that is completely for free. Not only that, but it has so much value, so much information, so much good stuff that you can use in your videos. And for free, I think it's a pretty good deal. Not only that, but they curate every single piece of information that gets shown on this source so that you are certain that whatever you use will be absolutely relevant and very interesting for your audience. And that is Google News. Google News is a selection of the most relevant and useful and interesting news across the globe on many, many topics. And even if you don't find dogs, for example, as one of the main categories, we can very easily search for dogs and we will get all the most recent news that Google News has related to dogs. Also, if you are interested in other topics like healthcare or finance or sports, there is so much good stuff that you can leverage from Google News to use in your next video. So when you come to Google News, all you need to do is either pick one of the topics that you see at the top of the page Page, or go in the search bar and search for any topic that you would like to find content for. All right, Lily, I think we found a great article to leverage. Now it's time to write the script. How talented of a writer are you? Yeah, I thought so. So in this case, we are going to head to ChatGPT and ask it for some help to take the content from the article that we found on Google News and convert that into the script for either a long form or a short form video. Look, Lily, I already got you out of trouble once when it comes to writing the script. Now we need to get to the next step, which is recording and editing the video. I hope you're ready to do that yourself. Okay. All right, you guys, um, Lily left, which is not great because we now needed to start recording and then editing the video. So with no one here to be the face of the channel, I guess we are going to go for a faceless YouTube channel, which is not an issue because there are so many faceless channels out there that are making millions of views in every video. So I'm not concerned. I think that's totally fine. And obviously, Lily wouldn't have been able to speak in those videos, so we would have needed a voiceover anyway. So with no face, no voice, and no editing skills, what can we do? Well, let me introduce you to an AI-based tool that is going to solve all of that, and it is going to do it in such a fun way. Here comes InVideo to the rescue. So if you guys are not familiar with InVideo, it is an AI-based solution that is going to generate beautifully edited videos based on our input. And we can do that either by prompting it, and then it'll write the script and generate the video, or we can use the script that we've already generated with ChatGPT 
and then InVideo will create the fully edited video for us. Obviously, we have full freedom to personalize it so we don't have to stick to whatever the AI gives us. We can choose what kind of background music we want to use and what the captions should say and what the visuals should be if we don't like what the AI will suggest. Now, in order to have access to InVideo, you have a couple of options. You can go for the free plan or for one of the two paid plans. Just remember that if you go for the free plan, that you will not have access to any of their premium resources and you won't be able to download your work, which means if you want to use InVideo for your YouTube channel, then you should go for one of the paid plans. Now, between business and unlimited, it's completely up to you which one you want to choose. In our case, because we do create a lot of content and we needed access to all of their libraries for which we were already paying quite a lot every month, then it made sense to go for the unlimited version. So what that means is that you can pay monthly or yearly, whatever makes more sense for you. But I would suggest at least try it out for a month and see if it's worthwhile for you. And with any of the paid plans, you will have access not only to over 8 million of royalty free clips from lots of well known sources like Shutterstock, like iStock, but you also have access to over 6,000 templates that you can leverage for which we were paying in order to get on marketplaces like Envato before. Their live chat support is also really, really helpful in case you have any trouble, by the way. So let me show you how it works and let's get started working on our video. So after you create an account with InVideo, what you wanna do is come to InVideo.io and as you go to your dashboard, then you will have four options here at the top. I'm gonna go for the AI text to video for today because we already have the script created with ChatGPT. If you wanna go for one of their templates, then you can do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on portrait because for today, I'm going to create a short video and I'll explain in a moment why I'm doing that for purposes of monetization. Okay, so let's click on this template and go ahead and click use template. As I said, you can ask AI to write your script if you want. But I find that using ChatGPT is giving me a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more artistic style with the writing. So I'll go ahead and I'll paste here what ChatGPT provided. Now, what you want to remember is that in video is going to create a new scene every time you hit enter and you create a new line. And if you want to make your video a lot more engaging, then you want to do that. It's going to make it a little bit harder and a bit um, longer in terms of time involvement when you edit it, if you want to create any changes yourself, but trust me, it's worth it. Okay, so now that my script is ready, I am going to hit create scenes and I will let the magic begin. So right now our video is 45 seconds long, which is great for a short, but it has no voiceover. So we're gonna have to go and create all the voiceover and add that to the timeline of the video. So let me do that. Now let's move from the storyboard view to the editor panel. Here we can make our changes. So basically all you need to do is select your text box, then hit the voiceover button here. And then on the left side, you'll have options to select the type of voice, the language and the person, the style that you would like them to use. And then once you do that, you just click add and the voiceover gets added specifically to the scene that you were working on. I also realized that you don't need to add voiceover individually, scene by scene, but you can click on add voiceover to all scenes and then it automatically adds it to all the scenes in sync. And then if you want to change the visuals, be that images or videos, all you need to do is go to the menu on the left side and select videos or images, and then type whatever you're looking for. Try to be as specific as possible. So then in video knows what you're looking for. It can give you the best results. And then once you find something that you like, you can drag it directly into your scene. And then you get asked to select how long you want it to be if you've selected a video or your image gets input directly in your scene as is. All 
right, you guys, we are now 24, almost 25 minutes later, and I'm done editing the video. It took a little bit longer because I really wanted to tinker with it. I changed the volume for the background music. I changed pretty much all the visuals that the AI had recommended simply because I wanted to choose something that's even more meaningful, not that the AI didn't give me good ones to begin with. And I also created voiceovers for every single scene. And if you remember, we created quite a lot of them because I wanted the video to be dynamic. So all in all, it took me about 25 minutes and we are now ready to export the video and upload it to YouTube. So while our video is exporting, let me explain a little bit more what my strategy here is so you guys can replicate this and get your channels monetized as well. So as I said at the beginning, I'm looking to get the channel monetized within the next three months. And my strategy here is going to be to have a combination of long form and short form content. Now with the new rules that YouTube has introduced, monetization of a YouTube channel can happen a lot sooner than it did in my case back in the day. It took me about seven months to monetize my channel initially, and that's because we needed to get to 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. We didn't even have shorts back then, so that was not an option. Now we have a different set of rules since recently. About a month ago, YouTube changed the rules for monetization, and now you're only required to have 500 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours for long form content and 10 million views for short form. So my strategy is to go with a combination of both. And the reason for that is even though I could only do short form videos, and as you see, it takes half an hour to create one. So I could literally post, I don't know, eight to 10 videos a day, I'm not going to do that. And the reason for this is, although I can probably get to 10 million views quite quickly with all of that volume of videos that I will create, when we get to monetization, the payout is not so great for shorts content yet. However, if we have long form content as well, that will get better paid. And when we reach the monetization milestone, then we will be able to cash a little bit more with the long form videos. So that's my strategy. For the next three months, I will be posting short form content as well as maybe once or twice a week, a long form video. And then we'll see how long it takes for us to monetize the channel. The video is now fully rendered, so let's go ahead and upload it to YouTube. So if you haven't done this before, what you wanna do is go to YouTube Studio, or you can do that even if you're logged in with your YouTube account. Here at the top, if you click on create, then you will be shown this prompt where it asks you to upload your video. So I'm gonna select file. And we are ready to publish. There is no better time to get started with InVideo than now because with their InVideo AI feature, we will be able to generate full videos just with one prompt, which I believe it is going to completely revolutionize how video generation and video creation is done. And if you don't believe me, take a look. Imagine waking up to the sound of space-time being distorted each day. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So the video is now live. It took us less than 30 minutes altogether to create and publish it. So I think this is absolutely doable. We can do this at least once a day, if not multiple times a day. And then once or twice a week, we will publish the long form video, as I mentioned, and we'll see how long it takes to get the channel monetized. I'll check back in with you guys regularly so you know how the channel is doing, and I'll share any tips and tricks that I'm finding in order to get it monetized faster. Now, if you're interested in getting access to InVideo as well, make sure you use SH25 
discount code so you guys get 25% discount on either of their paid subscriptions. I think that makes it a no-brainer really given everything that you get included. It's about $22.50 per month for the unlimited subscription. We were paying a lot more for the platforms that we were using before to get access to all of those royalty-free clips and images and music. So go ahead, check them out. Also, take a look at their YouTube channel. They have a lot of great suggestions, great ideas, tips and tricks for you to leverage if you're going to use in video. I'm going to link everything down below. And if you haven't been able to keep track with everything I've done, as usual, I've created a free ebook that is going to be linked down below. You can download it completely free. There is absolutely nothing in it for me. I'm just hoping that you guys can follow along and we can share insights and hear back from you how it's going and hopefully it will help you be on this journey with us as well. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Like it if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so and also share with a friend who might also be interested in starting a YouTube channel and get it monetized quickly. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!